Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Just give me one second. I just want to activate a background. I'm sorry. Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. How are you today, everybody? I'm fine. <clears throat> Great. Thank you. Okay, so just uh, give me one second so we can continue and start with the class. Um, give me one second, please. Okay, let's um, give it a little bit of a time for the other ones. Let's give it two, maybe two minutes to the rest of, uh, one minute more maybe to the other ones. Okay, so let's start the class, okay? Um, so welcome one more time to this new module, okay? We are going to continue with English for our program. This is basic uh, model number four, right? My name one more time, oh, well, the first time, right? This is the first time that you uh, know me. It is Lisa Rosemary Alvarado Martinez. And today in this module number before I am going to be with you, okay? Today it is Monday, October 17, 2022, and we are going to start. So let's start with this. Vamos a iniciar con eh, explicando un poco acerca, yo sé que tal vez ya los han escuchado, pero vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de todas las, eh, las tareas y evaluaciones y de lo que ustedes requieren para eh, cada módulo, ¿verdad? And so, entonces, es muy importante y necesario que ustedes recuerden, completen sus tareas y evaluaciones en la plataforma para complementar el curso satisfactoriamente. Y las tareas, recuerden, que pues están en la plataforma y deben de ser completadas después de cada clase, ya que cada viernes yo estaré chequeando. Entonces, eh, les pediré de favor que lo realicemos. También, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada, bueno, como les dije, cada viernes de cada, de cada viernes a la medianoche, o sea, ya tienen que estar complementadas, ya que ese registro, yo lo, eh, bueno, se envía semanalmente a Insafor. También eh, hay una fecha límite, por ejemplo, eh, en cada, la segunda semana de clase que tenemos, se realiza el midterm, ¿ok? Y en la última semana, o sea, en la semana 4, o en la sección 4, se realiza el final exam. And so we have to finish y lo tenemos que tener listo. Eh, el manual se encuentra en la plataforma. ¿Ya tienen el manual todos, chicos? ¿O no? ¿Me confirma? ¿Lo tienen o no? ¿Lo imprimieron? Sí, ¿Lo primero? Yeah. ¿Do you print it? Oh, great. What about the other ones? ¿Y los demás? Hello. Yes, teacher. Ok, great, great, great. This is, recuerden que es el módulo 4, ¿verdad? Y deben de tener, ese es el que deben de tener. Ahora, continuando, eh, vamos con los requerimientos. Eh, siempre recuerden que al momento de conectarse deben de poner su nombre completo. 
Y si no van a poder participar, por favor agregar su nombre, o sea, tienen que poner su nombre y a la par poner entre paréntesis oyente, si no puedes participar ni encender tu cámara. Porque recuerden que es muy importante que, como dice en el siguiente punto, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, ¿ok? Así que, chicos, quienes tienen apagadas las cámaras, por favor encenderlas. <coughs> También tratemos de minimizar el sonido de ambiente lo más eh, posible. Y siempre, y como van a ver en mis clases, me gusta que todos participemos. participemos. Ay, lo siento, se me mezcló el español en inglés. Después, con la asistencia. Recuerden que la asistencia es al 100% de las clases, que quiere decir que no podemos faltar, no hay permiso. Y debemos cumplir con los 120, 120 minutos de la clase. Y porque así al principio, como ustedes saben, se hacen dos chequeos en, durante toda la clase. Al principio y al final deben de decir presente y con su cámara encendida. Eh, siempre la asistencia se hace a las 8 y 20 y a las 9 y 40. Así que ya. Yeah. Eh, se tomará como válido al escuchar la voz que okay, dice al decir presente y tener cámara encendida, lo que les decía. Y también eh, cada día, recuerden que hay sesiones, sesiones disponibles uno a uno. Cada uno será asignado 10 minutos al final de cada clase para aclarar dudas. Así que usted puede anotar sus dudas que le surjan durante la clase y... Eh, cuando le toque su turno, pues las podemos aclarar. Y los permisos, como les dije, no hay permisos, ¿ok? Es importante que estén en todas las clases, ¿ok? Porque si nos perdemos un día o un ratito, perdemos así alguna actividad, alguna eh, cosa que hayamos copiado o algo así. Entonces es muy importante no faltar. En Zoom, siempre tratar de eh, tener, estar en mute o silencio. La cámara siempre es importante. El chat también es muy importante para mí. <coughs> los breakout rooms van a ser muy importantes. Y también en los breakout rooms está una, un botoncito que dice Ask for Help, que es para pedir ayuda, como ustedes saben, que lo utilizaremos también. Y debemos de respetarnos ante todo, ¿verdad? <coughs> Las tareas y evaluaciones. La semana 1, el viernes sería que con que, con, que se complementa del 17 del día de ahora hasta el 21 de octubre, o sea, el día viernes, ¿verdad? Quien sea que quiere decir eh, que el día viernes tenemos, la, tenemos que tener la sección número uno terminada, ¿ok? Eh, después tenemos acá semana 2, que tenemos que tener completada la sección 2 y también el midterm del 24 al 28 de octubre. Semana 3 comprendería desde el lunes 31 al 7 de noviembre. Ahí eso se alarga un poco más, ya que recuerden que eh, eh, se incluye el 2 de noviembre, que no pues, eh, se trabaja y tampoco pues, hay clases de asueto nacional, como ustedes saben, ¿verdad? Entonces ese día pues, sería... Um, Day off, entonces por eso se complementa con el 7 de noviembre, que es de la siguiente semana, y semana 4, que comprende de el 8 de noviembre al 14 de noviembre, y ahí es donde finalizaríamos con nuestra sección 4, con el final exam. Eh, al momento, preguntas, chicos y chicas, everybody, do you have any questions? <coughs> questions? ¿Preguntas o comentarios al momento? No questions. No questions. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Ok, now, before we start, antes que comencemos con la clase, vamos a visualizar un video muy importante eh, que es de parte de Insafor. Como ustedes saben, eh, pues... Eh, como esto es impartido por Insafor, debemos de visualizar este video y al mismo tiempo pues yo soy acreditada y debo presentárselo. Por favor, prestemos atención y después continuemos con la clase. Uy, permítame, vamos a compartir el audio. Aquí va. El Insafor 
ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Muy bien, ahí teníamos el video que, pues, como ustedes saben, de eh, quien, pues, nos está, eh, básicamente, les está dando un poco acerca de el compartir de este idioma, ¿verdad? El, el inglés para el trabajo. Así que vamos a continuar. Y sí, vamos a, let's continue with this unit number one, ok? Now that it, It's going to be about, about purchasing and storing, okay? So continuing with uh, beginners, right? That is in beginners one. And so let's start with the general objective. So in this, throughout this uh, module, you're going to be able to describe features of products, describe processes, selling and buying online. And also, you're going to give opinions about products and other things. Eh, a través de todo este módulo, ustedes van a ser capaces de describir eh, los, las características de un producto. Ok, también van a ser capaces de realizar conversaciones para comprar y vender en línea. Ok, y muchas otras cosas más. 
And so today is a specific objective, okay? So for the today's class, para la clase del día de ahora, vamos a aprender un poco acerca de las features, features, características, okay? About products, okay? Um, and you will uh, speak a little bit about that and I'm gonna give you some other ideas. And also we are going to practice countable and non-countable nouns and questions, okay? So aparte de saber y aprender a cómo describir un producto, también vamos a practicar un poco acerca de los nombres contables y los nombres o las cosas no contables, okay? And so, yes, so to start, okay, we are going to start with a little bit of introduction. So I want you to introduce yourselves, okay? So, para iniciar, vamos con una pequeña eh, presentación. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Nos vamos a presentar y siguiendo la siguiente estructura. Voy a empezar yo. Okay. So, hello, uh, everybody. Good evening. My name is Rosemary Alvarado and I live in Samuel. I am 30 years old and that's it. Okay. So, that will be for me. Now, I don't know if I have a volunteer to do the next one, was to be the next volunteer. Remember that everybody's going to be uh, participating. Recuerden que todos vamos a participar. So, yes. And so let's start. First volunteer. Vamos a ver quién va a ser el primero o la primera voluntaria que se quiera presentar. Hello. Hello, Miss. Thank you. Okay, hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> My name is Abigail Bonilla. I live in San Salvador. I am 27 years old. Oh, nice, Miss. Thank you for doing a very good presentation. So, Abigail, right? Abigail. Yes. Okay, great. Nice to meet you, Miss Abigail. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Next volunteer. Hello. Hello, yes. My name is Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Uh -huh. I live in San Salvador. Uh -huh. I am 50 year old. 50? 60. 60? 60, 60, 60? 60 con 6? Ah, okay, great, Mr. Wow, nice. Uh, mm -hmm. My profession is in, in, in industrial engineer. Oh, wow, I nice. work. Mm -hmm. I work in Young Juan, El Salvador. Young Juan. He, uh, oh, he's nice. in company, mm -hmm. he's Korean company. Oh, wow, that's great. Thank you for sharing, Mr. Mauricio. Okay. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's go, next volunteer. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening. And um, do you read me or no? Yes, I hear you, mister. Right. Tell me. Yes, good. My name is Francisco Marroquín. I live in Acajutla. I am 28 year old. And I'm working for CMC. It's a chip agency. Oh, nice, mister. Thank you for sharing. Very good. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Alvarado, you can call me Miss Alvarado. Okay, great. Very good, Mr. Francisco. Great to know you. Right, thank you. Nice. Right. Okay, let's go next volunteer. Miss teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Good evening. My name is Sandra Ramos. I live in Santa Tecla. Uh -huh. I am 42 years old. Oh, nice. Great. Thank you, Miss. Very good, very good. Miss Sandra, right? Yes, teacher. Oh, great. Nice to meet you, Miss Sandra. Welcome. Let's see next one. Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. My name is Rebecca Guillon. Mm -hmm. I live in San Salvador. Uh -huh. I'm 33 years old. Oh, nice. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. Okay, we have another Abigail. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go, Miss. Miss Mejia. Abigail Mejia, hello. Te escucho porque te veo que estás con el micrófono y el. 
Y la cámara encendida, pero no sé, creo que no te sirve, Miss. Hello. Ahora sí. Hola. Ahora sí. Ok. Hello, my name is Abigail Mejía. I live in Lourdes, Colón. I'm 40 years old. Oh, nice, Miss. Thank you for doing. Nice to meet you. Abigail, what is your other name? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es su otro nombre, Abigail? Only name. Only oh, name. name. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> okay, Abigail, Miss Abigail Mejia, you're going to be then. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Okay, let's see next one. So I have Francisco. Oh, okay. I, I, uh -huh. Tell me. Hello, my name is Michelle Oviedo. Uh -huh. I live in San Salvador. San Salvador. I am 26 years old. Oh, nice. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Michelle. Thanks. Nice. Very good. Next volunteer. <coughs> Who's going to be next? Hmm. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Uh -huh. My name is Juan Jose Herrera. Okay. I live in Guasapa and oh. I am 42 years old. Oh, nice to meet you, Juan Jose. Juan Jose or just Juan or Jose? <laughs> Juan Jose. Juan Jose, okay. Juan Jose, nice to meet you, mister. Welcome. Nice to meet you too, thank you. <laughs> nice. Okay, Jose Ezequiel. Yes. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, go, mister. Okay, hello, everyone. Um, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my, name is, my name is Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Mm -hmm. I live in San Miguel and I'm 32 years old. Oh, nice. Thank you, mister. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Let's do another one. Everybody has to introduce yourself, everybody. So, yeah, todos se tienen que presentar. So, oh, let's go, me. Diana? Hello, everyone. Hello. Good night. Mm -hmm. My name is Daniel Magaña. I live in Santa Ana. I am 27 years old. Oh, nice. Dania. I live I Dania. read, uh -huh. I read uh -huh. Diana. <laughs> no, it's Dania. 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 Uh -huh. Dania or Lisbeth? Which one do you like the most? Dania. Dania. Okay, nice to meet you, Dania. Welcome. Me too. Nice. Let's go next one. Me, teacher. Okay, Esmeralda. Yes, go, Miss. Hello, good evening, everybody. My name is Esmeralda Ayala. I live in Lourdes, Colón. I'm 26 years old. Oh, nice. Thank you, Miss, for doing it. Very good job. And nice to meet you, too. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Lady Chicas. I live in San Miguel. I'm uh -huh. 24 years old. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you, Lady. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> lady or Xiomara, Miss? Lady. Oh, great. Thank you. Sí, que a mí me sale más fácil los nombres. So, le puedo llamar por sus nombres, okay? So, but very good so far. And also, I use a lot of Miss and Mister. So, yeah. Another one. Oh, wait, wait, what did I do? Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm missing Andrea Amalia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miss. Uh -huh. My name is Andrea Romero. Uh -huh. I live in Quesaltepeque. I am 24 years old. Oh, welcome, Miss. Thank you, Miss Andrea. Let's go with. Um... Good evening. Hi, hello, Mister. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Uh -huh. I live in Santa Ana. Oh. I'm 43 years old. Oh, welcome, Mister. Nice Thank you. you. Nice to meet you, Jorge. Let's go with me, Teacher. Okay, great. Good evening, good evening, everybody. My name is 
Kenia Rodriguez. I live in San Salvador. I am 37 years old. I am an auditor and I work for a pharmaceutical company. Oh, great. Thank you, Miss Kenya. Very good. And so I think, mm -mm -mm. who is missing? I think everybody did it already, I think. Esmeralda? Ya te presentaste, no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So everybody did it then. Thank you, Miss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just checking. Yes. Don't I worry. Do. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So very good so far. Thank you, everybody, for doing it. And thank you for doing the in like the introducing yourself. Just to know what is your like your favorite name so I can call you. Okay. For me, you can call me Miss Alvarado and I'll be happy to help you in this module number four. Okay. Now let's move on and continue with the next activity in the next activity that I have for you. Oh, but before we continue, we are going to do a tenant section. Okay, vamos a hacer sección de asistencia. Please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Hello, hi. 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> Andrea Amalia. Present teacher. Carlos Francisco. Carlos Francisco. Creo que es Francisco, que solo tiene Francisco. Hello, I am present. Oh, thank Francisco, you. Yes, my Francisco. Okay. Yes, Ernesto, sorry, Molia, I put on my first name, Francisco. So you're Francisco Ernesto? Yes, I am Francisco Ernesto. Oh, okay. So, okay. Good to know. Good to know, mister. Okay. Is a Francisco, it's okay. Ah, Carlos Francisco is the one that I have right now, but I uh, know Carlos Francisco uh -huh. is not, uh -huh, it's not here. Diana, mm -hmm. okay, that's good, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, Diana Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Dilcia Yamilet. Wait a second. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Francisco Ernesto. Ahora sí. <laughs> Ay, Francisco Ernesto, you have to say presente now. Ah, oh, sorry, present, present. Thank I you. Present. No Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Juan José, Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Kenya Elizabeth. Oh, no, she's not here. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Maurice Antonio. I'm sorry. Maurice Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. No, I think she's not here too. Rebecca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail. Present. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Very good. Did I don't mention somebody? No mencioné a alguien o todos están? Okay, so we are good then. Estamos bien. Very good. So now um, let's move on with the next activity. Sure. Yeah. My name is Kenya. I have problem with my internet and I didn't listen my name. Ah, oh, okay, so, Kenya. No, that's okay. Kenya Rodriguez. Okay, Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. I have it. I have you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. So now we are going with this activity. It's called Indoor Scavenger Hunt. Okay, so what are we going to do? So I'm gonna call you. I don't know if you have played this game before. Have you ever played this game before or no? It's your first time? Yes. Do you play this game before or no? Yes or no, everybody? Or no? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes, you have play uh, scavenger. Well, no scavenger. It's um, loose. Wait a sec. So 
I'm gonna show you some things, okay? I'm gonna show you objects and you have to go and get the objects and show it to the camera, okay? And so let's start with the first one. Everybody, uh, please be ready. So the first object that I'm going to give you, oh, can you find a button? Can you find one? Can you show me some buttons? A button. Nobody has a button. Un botón? Nobody? No, I don't believe you. No? Oh. You don't wear shirts? What? Even t-shirts have buttons. Nobody? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I, I am Francisco. I don't understand because it's my first time. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So the activity is supposed that I, you have to show me. Me tiene que mostrar un objeto del que les voy a mostrar. En este caso es un button. Tienen que mostrarme un button. Okay. Vamos right, a... teacher. Right. Okay. Okay. Understand. Understand. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. Tienen que levantar. So do something. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem, mister. That's okay. Right. Uh-huh. Tienen que levantarse para que you have to. Oh, very good, Mr. Juan Jose. Amazing. Thank you. What about the other ones? Oh, thank you, Miss Lady. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. What about the other ones? Where are you? Nothing. No tienen. No les creo que no tengan en la casa. Remember that it's. Oh, very good, Miss. Oh, very good, Mr. Mauricio. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent, that's great, everybody. Thank you for the show me. Remember that just a lot of vocabulary. Vamos a practicar un poco de vocabulario ahorita, okay? So let's try to do this activity. So vamos a intentar hacer esta, esta actividad, pero recuerden que nos vamos a levantar un ratito, okay? Un ratito para buscar el objeto y mostrármelo, okay? So let's go with the next one. Next activity. Oh, no, this one, no. I, I think you don't have it, but let's do this one. Oh! <gasps> Can you find a measuring spoon or just a spoon? A spoon? <laughs> Do you have it? A spoon? Cuchara? A spoons? Do you have something? Go find. Yes. Tienen que buscarme. You have to show me. Show me the spoon. Me tienen que mostrar la spoon. Si no, no. It doesn't like no. Oh, very good, Miss Abigail. Thank you. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, very good, Miss Sandra. Miss Sandra is well prepared. Ella está bien preparada con las measuring spoon. Very good. Very good, Miss Lady. Thank you. Very good, Mr. Mauricio. Amazing. Thank you for standing up and getting them. Okay. Very good. Oh, wow. Tiene <laughs> measuring spoon, Mr. Juan Jose. Oh, my goodness. That's great. That's amazing. Thank you. Okay, and the other ones, because I must have it on camera. What happened? No. Okay, let's go. Next one. Show me, show me. Oh, no. Vamos a quitar this one away. And let's do another one. Oh, vitamins. Can you find vitamins? I want to see some vitamins. I want to see the vitamins that you take every day. Oh, very good. Oh, that was a good one. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Very good, Miss Lady. What about the other one? Uh, oh, very good, Mr. Juan Jose. Amazing job. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Ah, oh, very good for the joints. <laughs> very good, Mr. Esas son amoxicilina. No, that's for the. <laughs> no, that's. Not, I know the amoxicilina is very good, Mr. <laughs> very good, Miss Sandra. Very good, Miss Abigail. <laughs> very good. Amazing. Thank you. But yet, it, it's vitamins. But medicine, it's not like exactly the vitamins, no es como vitamina exactly, but yeah, <laughs> let's take it like yes, okay, let's go next one, thank you very much for the that one, let's go with this one. Oh no, let's go another one. Oh, can you find a stick? I mean, glue a stick, <laughs> oh my goodness, a glue a stick, glue a stick, glue, glue, glue. glue. Oh, very good, Miss Mr. Juan Jose. Miss Diana, what happened? No la veo que se mueva. What are you, Miss? Very good, Mr. Francisco. Very good, Miss Abigail. Very good. 
Ah, Mr. Mauricio, very good. Mister, no veo a Miss Esmeralda, Miss Diana, Mr. José Ezequiel, Miss, Mr. Jorge, Miss Andrea, Michelle, what happened? Je, Kenia, Francisco. Ah, very good, Miss Sandra, amazing. Glue, 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 glue. Pegamento, glue, glue, glue. I get a small one. Ah, that's perfect. You have glue. That's glue. That's perfect, Mr. Don't that, worry. Yes, uh, glue. Right. Yeah, it's glue. It's glue. That's good. very good, Miss Abigail. Amazing. Thank you for getting it. Very good job, everybody. Far. Let's go another one. <laughs> oh, a bottle. Can you find a bottle? Hmm. Hmm. Wow, everybody with the water. Very good with water. Nice. <laughs> That's amazing, everybody. You have to have water every time. It's very important, right? Very good. Thank you for showing me. Miss Michelle is like, where is my bottle? Where is my bottle? Ahí me la Miss Michelle buscando. No le encuentra a mí. <laughs> That's okay. No tiene. Very good, Miss Abigail. Amazing job. Thank you for sharing it. Very good, very good. Let's go with the next one. Let's go. It would be rubber band. Rubber band, it would be like things that you need to wrap. Like, I oh my goodness, I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but rubber band. Maybe no. this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, it could be. A, yeah, yeah, that one it could be. Yeah. That's okay, no? It's a band? Yeah, yeah it's a band. Yeah, it's, it's okay. a headband, though. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it's a band. Yes, very good. What about the other good. one? <laughs> Nothing. No, that's oh, very good, Miss Diana. Very good, Mr. Juan Jose. Amazing. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Very good. A rubber band. It could be like the cola that you have in your hair. That could be the rubber band. Oh, very good, Miss Rebecca. Thank you. Very good, Miss Abigail. Very good, Miss Abigail Bonilla. I see you. Yeah. Yo la vi que se estaba ahí quitando ahí la rubber. That's okay. Thank you. Amazing, everybody. Thank you for doing it. Let's go one more time. Let's see next one. Oh, a cushion. Can you find a cushion or a pillow? Hello. Oh, very good, Miss Rebecca. Very good, very good, Miss Abigail. Very good, Miss Lady. Oh, very good, very good, Mr. Jorge. <laughs> Qué cute. Qué very good, Jose. Eh, very good, Mr. Mauricio. Very good, Mr. Juan Jose. Very good, Miss Sandra. Miss Sandra loves flowers, right, Miss Sandra? I can see that many flowers. Very good, Miss Michelle. <laughs> Yes, teacher, yes. Yeah, I can see that. Many flowers. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for sharing. Very good job, everybody. Let's see. Very good, Mr. Francisco. No, that's not a cushion exactly. That is like a neck, a neck pillow. But okay. Because I had a, a big one pillow. I had a big one pillow. I will show you. Oh, you have a big one, but not, oh, 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 I love those ones. Those are good to sleep. Very yeah. soft, very yes, soft. They yes, are very... the... <laughs> right. yes, it's true. They are very, very soft. Amazing. Yes. Thank you for sharing, mister. <laughs> and more. And, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, can you find a wallet? Can you find a wallet? Oh, very good, Mr. Jose. Se cae a little faster. I didn't money, money, money. Oh, very good, Mr. Francisco. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. <laughs> very good, Mr. Jorge. For the girls, you can share your wallet. I mean, not your wallet. Oh, yes, very good, Miss Lady. Very good, very good. Oh, very good, Miss Diana. Yes, your wallets. Very good. Can I throw that? Oh, Miss Abigail. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Yeah, your wallet. Amazing. Very good, Miss Rebecca. Yes, I, husband, so you have to take it off. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Mauricio. Amazing, everybody. Thank you for sharing with me. This was a little bit of practice vocabulary, as I told you before. Okay? But now we are going to continue with the next activity. So far, very good. Do we have any questions right now at the moment? Or no questions? No questions. 
Oh, okay, good. That was a little bit of practice, as I told you before, for vocabulary that you have studied in the previous module. So let's move on. And now I have a question for you. So the question is, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? Like, what is something that you really like to buy when you go shopping? Like, for example, for me, I really like to buy clothes, okay? And for you, what is something that you really like to buy when you go shopping? That's the first question that I have for you today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you share some ideas? <coughs> uh -huh. What is something? Shoes. Shoes. Oh, great. What else? Bag. Bags. Mm -hmm. Makeup. Oh, makeup. That's great. Clothes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pants. Mm, nice. Something to eat, of course. Obviously, always, right? We not we want it's something that we really, really like to eat. So we have to buy something to eat, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Jacket. Jackets, yes. In San Salvador, because here in San Miguel, we are burning. <laughs> so we don't use jackets. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> yeah, so definitely. So there are so many things, I guess, right, that you buy when you go shopping. And right now we are going to do these activities, okay, in which you're going, I am going to give you, um, I am going to give you like a link and you have to write there some things that you buy when you go shopping. Because remember that we only not write like things, right? We also buy food. We also buy cell phones. We also buy like water. Maybe we buy, what else we buy? Uh, maybe it's like refrigerators. We buy televisions, many things, okay? You can buy many things. So right now in this activity, I'm going to send you one link. Just give me one second. And in the link, I want you to write. Give me one second. There, I just sent you the link here in the chat of uh, Zoom. So in there, you're going to click in the link. Okay. And and then there it says enter a word. So you're going to send a word um, that of the things that you um, that you like. That what do you like to buy and when you go shopping? So you're going to write the answers. Okay. Yes. So let's go. Oh, there I have the first one, and then later we are going to check it. Okay. I have one word only right now. I have bag. Please write it down there. <laughs> Another thing that do you write? Oh, clothes, very good. I'm waiting. I only have three and there are 15 students. So I want everybody please write in one word at least. Okay, so I'll, okay, I have three, four, six words already. What is that, Mr. Mr. Um, Juan Jose, what do you send me? I am scared to open it now. I'm not going to open it. 
It's a guitar from Amazon. Ah, so you want to buy that one. So you should write in the in the link that I sent you, you're going to write guitar, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have, if you can write any other things because I have so many, so little. Pueden escribir más cosas, okay? You can share more things in the same link that I just sent you, en el mismo link que les acabo de enviar. You have, the, there you can give so many more ideas. I only have six six people and there's 16 here, okay? So remember, solo tengo a seis ahí que están escribiendo. Los demás no, en el link que está, recuerden en el chat acá de Zoom. Le van a dar clic. Teacher, perdón, puede reenviarlo. Me, mi internet falló y yo no puedo entrar al link. Ah, okay. oh, no problem, miss. Here we go, one more time. Ahí va. Ahí está, miss. Thanks. Okay. Una pregunta, ¿y qué debemos de escribir? Las cosas que te gustan escribir, escribir comprar, eh, cuando vas de compras. Valga la redundancia. Lo que te gusta. Gracias. Ajá. No problem is. In English, remember, please. I'm gonna be waiting. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let me show it to you. Le voy a mostrar las respuestas que tuvimos. So everybody, let's stop sharing. Oh my goodness, you are still sharing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so see here I have some of the things that you like to buy when you go shopping. And we have pencil. Pencil, really? What kind of pencils do you like to buy? And then we have a guitar, sweetie, sweetie, or sweets, or candies. No sé si era sweets o dulces. ¿Qué quisieron decir ahí? ¿Quién me, con, quién me confirma? ¿Quién fue que lo escribió? O dulces sería candy. Oh, they are delicious chocolate. Oh, my goodness. Um, shoes, cushions. Ah, guitars, typical. Typical what? Que me escribió típico, everybody. <coughs> uh -huh. So, ¿quién escribió típico? Typical what? And clothes. Nadie escribió typical. No, I don't believe you que nadie haya escrito typical. Hello. Uh -huh. Nadie escribió typical. Typical qué quiso decir? Typical food? Typical clothes, puede ser que compren typical clothes, right? We don't know. Okay, so we have t-shirt, maybe. That's another one, t-shirt. No sé si lo pueden visualizar ahorita, yo lo estoy presentando acá, lo pueden ver? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, okay, great. Uh -huh. So what else? Este de típico es que no me queda claro. <coughs> uh 
Uh huh. Fruits, pencils, Fred Bratz. What is that, Fred Bratz? ¿Qué es Fred Bratz? ¿Quién me confirma eso, Fred? It is an accessory for guitars and basses. Oh, nice. I didn't know. I learned something new today. Great. Thank you for sharing, Mr. TV. Nuve. Nuve. What is Nuve? Hi. I write. Uh, what is Nuve, Miss? Can you share with me? Mm, I think <laughs> the significance the cloud. Yo pensé que el significado de cloud era que vamos a poner ahí. Que por ah. no oh, I, I, I didn't understand, but good. Thank you for sharing. No, pero nube esto, nube, así. <laughs> the meaning cloud is nube in Spanish. Really, what is that, Miss? Cloud, cloud. Ah, clouds. So it would be cloud, Miss. Así, así como está aquí arriba. Yes. But do you buy, pero compras clouds? Yo al principio no entendí que íbamos ah, a escribir, oh, yeah, okay. entonces yo escribí cualquier cosa. Pensé que cloud era el significado que íbamos a escribir. No, 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 mis, era, era, like, new words. <coughs> we have airports. <gasps> ¿Quién tiene? What, oh my goodness, we have a billionaire here. Airports? Who buys airports? <coughs> airports? Eso quisiera poner, or airpods, or earpods, earpods. <coughs> no sé. And then we have laptop, sweetie. Yo creo que era sweetie, creo que era de dulces, or no? Then we have, what else? Jewelry, very good, jeans, snacks, dress, pencil, guitar, lotions, perfumes, I guess. And then we have makeup, nice. Jewelry, jewelry maybe, body cream, okay. Or body lotion, maybe, I mean, Quiere decir cremas, serían body lotions. Eh, ice cream, airpods, esto de airpods. Mm -mm. Eh, no sé si es lo mismo que quisieron decir acá, pero no sure. Esto de esto, creo que se equivocaron, ¿verdad? I think. An analog pedals, ah, creo que ese es para la batería, right? It's for the drums. Guitar. Uh, as well, uh, it's como un like, un pedestal, right? Like effect. Uh huh. But you, like Ed Sheeran uses, I guess, creo que es como lo que usa Ed Sheeran. I guess, I don't know, I'm not sure about that. But thank you for sharing with us because I didn't know those words. I learned some new words today using the, for the things for the guitars, I didn't know. Okay, thank you for sharing. Now, as you can see, we were talking about some products, right? But those products, they have some definitions, right? And we, we look at certain things when we are um, when we are searching for these products, okay? And then here are some uh, vocabulary or features of products, okay? The features, okay, let me show you, for example, here, wait a second. So when you buy something, I'm gonna use my bottle of water today. When you buy something, you look for things, right? Like for example, for me, in my case, 
Uh, I look for the size, okay, for the price and for the brand, okay. I always look at the brand, la marca. When I buy things, like for example, for me, for me, right, the best water for me it would be Cristal for me, but for some people it's like, like for example, they have uh, Alpina or maybe Fiji or maybe Pellegrin or Peregrine. There are many waters, right? But uh, for me, as I told you, it's uh, Agua Cristal. But then uh, there are some, uh, as I told you before, some vocabulary of features that we have to take into account in products. The first one is the size. And then uh, here we have the definition. Can you help me to read the definition, please, Mr. Jose Ezequiel? Of for course. Thank you. A thing's overall dimension or uh, ¿cómo se lee? magnitude. Magnitude, yes, very good. Okay. okay, so the like it would be how big, small, we have different uh, sizes, right? In people and things, okay, but right now, because we are only talking about things, we are going to describe them. So when we are talking about transportation, okay, we can use only a small, medium, and large, okay? And then when we are um, talking about a specific object that is not so big, it would, well, it would be big, it's small, medium, and big, okay? So for remember that for transportation, you use a small, medium, and large, and for objects, you can use in animals as well, small, medium, and big. These are the different sizes. Do you know the other sizes for things or for objects that you would like to share? No. Or do you know other one? No, teacher. Okay. Another one for objects, it's narrow. Narrow, we call these to a uh, very uh, small uh, space, uh, like for example, a street, narrow, angosto o angosta, narrow. Puede ser una calle, nar narrow street. También podemos decir wide. Wide is, um, Oh my goodness, I think. Amplio. Exactly, thank you, mister. I forgot it in Spanish, oh my goodness. Exactly, wide, amplio, o espacioso. That will be another one. And yes, that's another way to say size, okay. Do you remember how to say, um, Mediano for transportation. Can you remember to me, please? Medium. Yes, very good. What about um, grande for objects? Big. Yes, big. big, very good. And how do you say grande for transportation? Large. Large. Uh -huh, very good. How do you say angosto in English? Narrow. Narrow. And espacioso? Wide. 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 Very good. And pequeño in for objects? Small. 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 Okay. And how do you say, like for example, a ring? A ring, it's what a size is a ring? What size? Tiny. Oh, that's another one. But pequeño? A small. It's small, very good. What small. about, I'm sorry? And this one, the watch? Medium. Okay, medium. What about, what do you say about a taxi? What's the size of a taxi? It's small. No. no. It could be a small. What about the size of, of a truck? Camion. Medium. Medium. Medium or large? Large. 
large. Depending, right? If it is a like a trailer, it would be if large. If it is a truck, <laughs> uh, a trailer, uh -huh, definitely it depends. What about if it is a train? Train. Large. Very large. 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 Exactly. large. large. Definitely. Very good so far. Thank you. Okay. What about hmm, a television? Medium? Medium? Medium, yeah, definitely. A house? Big. 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 Exactly, Big. very good. Let's continue with wave. Wave is something also important when you have a product, okay? So let's see at the definition. Can you help me to read, please? I want a girl now to help me to read. Can you help me, please? Sandra Patricia. A uh, body is relative mass or the quantity contained by some something something <laughs> exactly thank you miss so yes weight is uh like the mass how like it's like the quantity that contains this mass so that will be the weight okay or peso in the Spanish okay. Now, very good, as you can see here, we have that some things are heavy and some things are light, okay? Heavy, pesado, light, liviano, right? So now I'm gonna share with you some pictures and you're going to tell me if they are heavy or they are light. Like for example, feather, what is that, heavy or light? Light. 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 Yes, very good. And pencil, in this case? Heavy. Heavy. Heavy, Heavy very good. Oh, what about this one? Book. Heavy. 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 And the sitio? Light. 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 Exactly. That's a lightweight. And sometimes, uh, for example, some people say lightweight. Lightweight, it's like peso. So what? It will be. Wait a second. Ligero, peso ligero. Exactly. Thank you, Mister. I cannot concentrate with that. Uh -huh. And when we say heavyweight, it's like uh, like peso, peso. It will be like a lot of weight. Okay. And then yes. Do we have any questions so far, everybody? We are good. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's no, go. No question. no question. Now we are going with price. Price, and also I have another definition. Okay, wait a second. Can you help me to read the price, please? The definition for price. Mrs. Esmeralda. The amount of money required to pay for something. Mm, very good. The amount of money, yeah, required, right? When we go to the, for example, um, like the supermarket, we can see the prices, right? That's the price, the money that we are going to spend. Like for example, here we have uh, two very important things. And some sometimes, wait, sometimes some things can be cheap and some things can be caras. How do you say caras? Do you remember? Expensive. Expensive, Expensive. right? Very good. So we can go ahead and now, what are we going to do? I don't remember. What is the activity that I have for you? Oh, okay. So we are going to have this activity, okay? In which you're going to think how much it costs. And you're going to think, um, I think it costs, how much do you think it costs this lamp? What do you think? Ideas, everybody? $45. Okay, $45. Any other idea? Verify. Oh, good. Good idea. Another one? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Hmm, could be. <laughs> Much. Ten dollars? $10? $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $50. $
Sixty dollars. Okay. Well, let me tell you that this uh, lamp cost twenty nine dollars. <laughs> Let's see next one. How much do you think it is this bed? It's a, a orthopedic bed. Two hundred. Oh, okay, two hundred. What about the other ones? Four hundred. Oh, very good. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. Three hundred fifty. Wow, three hundred fifty dollars. Okay, let me tell you that this bed costs two hundred thirty-nine. Very good job to the ones that were close. Algunos doing super close to this price. Wow. <coughs> this one is a organic Italian corn pasta sauce. So, how much do you think it is? Two bucks. Two bucks. No, too cheap. Five dollars. Five dollars, uh-huh. Eight dollars. Okay. Three dollars. Three dollars, okay. Four. Four. Okay. Eight. Eight dollars. Remember that we have to say, I think it costs, well, let me tell you that this one, it costs, Four dollars with 88 cents. <laughs> well, some of you were close to, Algunos de ustedes sí were close to this price. Very good job. Oh, no way, a mistake, sorry. This one, how much do you think it is this bag? Backpack or bag? 45. 25. 45. 45. 45. 45. 45. Okay, 45. 45. Maybe it's $45. Okay, here we go. I think it costs 51 bucks. 51 bucks? Why, mister? Because it's cuero. As he is. Oh, because it's leather. <laughs> and leather bags are very expensive, by the way. In shopping center, $20. True fact, true fact, Miss. Very good job. Thank you for sharing. It's true. Okay, let me tell you that this is from shopping center. No. No. Twenty dollars. Very good. Amazing. Thank you for sharing your ideas. Twenty dollars. Basically, um, maybe it's from Toto. We don't know. Maybe it's from Mike. Mike. Okay, but it's twenty dollars. Okay. Let's go with next one. This is a shirt. Well, it's a polar shirt. How much do you think it is, everybody? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh huh. Any other ideas? Twelve dollars. Ten dollars. Fifty. <coughs> uh huh. Hmm. Uh, I think it's cost uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Twelve dollars. Okay. Ten dollars. Seventy. Okay. Any other idea? In the dollar city, the city dollar, uh -huh. four dollar. I was going to say that, Mr. <laughs> Mauricio, that this polo shirt is from dollar city or city dollar yes and it's only three dollars <laughs> <laughs> yes remember that in in dollar city um they are super cheap like most of the things not all of it it's cheap so that's why three dollars uh okay great job let's go next one so this is a watch how much do you think it is i think it's sixty dollar Sixty. Wow. Ten dollar. One dollar. Ten bucks. Ten. Ten dollar. <laughs> okay. Ten dollars. Forty-five. Forty-five. Wow. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh huh. Twenty-five. Fifteen. 
16. Okay, let me tell you that this costs 29 49 dollars. This is from Prisma Moda, maybe that's why, <laughs> that's the price. And maybe you can find it also in downtown, right? Of San Salvador, maybe, I don't know. What about these boobs? How much mm -hmm. do you think they are? 20 dollars. 50 dollars. Oh, okay. It could be in, in, in MDMIS. Yes. Or a doc. <laughs> <laughs> or a doc, maybe. 45 dollars. Okay, very good. Very fine. Okay. 90, 90 bucks. Okay. 19 or 90, mister? 90. 90. Wow. <gasps> Mister, maybe I, I think it's for climb mountains. Mm, maybe they are for from from cat. <laughs> 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 because cat is very expensive, as you know, because yeah. it's mm -hmm, for engineers, right? So this is 1997. These are from MD, so that's not, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yes, very good. Let's go. Okay, Keep now her. I'm sorry. Cheaper. Cheaper, yeah. They are not from cat, mister. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> okay, let's go with another feature for product and its dimensions. Dimensions are also very important sometimes when you buy a product, like, like for example, the, the chineros or the shelves, as we call it in English. Also, we can say the mention of the beds, right? And many things in the house. And here we have a definition. Can you help me to read the definition, Mr. Francisco? Measurement or, um, measurement or proportion of some kind. Exactly. So, yes, is that like, wait a second, the measurements, right, of the proportions. As you can see here, we have a little bit of a dimension. Yeah, like really in nice. that case, we have a cube, right? And it have a lot of dimensions. They have to measure every size. And sometimes we take into account, we have next one, next feature for a product. Can you help me to read, please? Miss, Miss Kenia. Ah, no, Miss Kenia no tiene microphone. Michelle. <coughs> yes. Thank you. Battery life. A measure of battery performance and longevity. Exactly. So the battery life, how much does the phone or the TV or anything that you buy, like uh, it's saving, right? And we have a storage. Can you help me with the definition, reading the definition, please, Miss Lady? This case is available for rotation of something. Exactly. So there are two types of storage, okay? We have the storage that we can like uh, a place or a big space or a small space where you can put things, right? But also we have the um, storage in virtually things or computer things. And as you can see here, we have computers and storage devices. And we have the USB, we have the, the like the hard drives, we have the also the CDs. Before we have more things, but they are getting like the facados. Now we also have the iCloud, right? We have iCloud, we have Google Drive. What else do we have? I don't remember, solo iCloud and Google Drive. Uh, one drive one drive yes we have um mega what? there are some apps yeah for like, example mega mega what else i i was thinking of another one but i don't remember there is another app that is to, to store these things i remember like uh documents but i forgot the name right now but this, Dropbox. Ah, Dropbox. Exactly. That was the one. Dropbox. 
And there are many more that are, they, they are a storage, but they are like in the, in the virtual space, right? As you know, it's a different thing, but it's always a storage. Why? Because you save your things there, right? We have uh, the different things that we do. We save them there, right? And, and then we have the other type of storage like places, like for example, we have the closets. Another uh, storage that you can mention be besides this, the closet for the, for the clothes. Um, basement. Ah, basement, right, very good. Any, any other place? Desktop. Desktop. I'm sorry? Desktop. Basement. No, yeah. mismo... Desktop. I don't know, Miss, Miss, I cannot hear you very well. Or can somebody understand what you're saying? Because I don't understand. Uh huh. Another way, another place that you can save things. Container. Ah, container for food, right? Like toppers. I guess you use toppers for food, right? Uh huh. Also, how we... do you say sótano? Ah, basement. El que dijo el mister, basement. The attic, I think. Ah, the attic. Here in, in basically here uh, as an example, right? Here in San Miguel, we don't use attics ni basements because we don't have right. But I don't know you if you have attics or basement. Do you have them? No, <laughs> because I don't. Um, but yeah, and just in movies. <laughs> yes, definitely. Maybe we have here. We have like. Cuartito, right? We, we put things in a bit. Um, yeah. And also in, well, for example, here in the United States, as you can see, there are some places that are to storage things. They, they rent these little thingies, like, um, um, oh my goodness, how can I say? Like little spaces and they put things over there. And they rent in, in, the, in the United States. Well, not only in the United States, it's in the United States and also in Europe and many other countries and places that they have like big, uh, like storage places where you rent like a little cuartito or little room. And then you put things like boxes inside and you can pay. So you can have your things say very well, take care of them and, and, like bodegas, exactly, Miss Abigail. Thank you for the word because I didn't know how to say it. A warehouse, like warehouses, okay? So yes, they basically work very good, warehouses. And also here in El Salvador, we do have some warehouses basically, right? Okay, let's go another one. Another feature, it's the function. Functions are very important in an object, right? And can you help me to read the definition, please? Miss, um, Miss Diana Lisbeth. <laughs> Practical use or purpose in design. In design, very good. Like the function is everybody, I guess, we, we look and we, Take into account how is the function of an object or a thing that we are going to buy, maybe. Warranty, it's another thing that is very important. Let's go, Mr. It will be a boy now. Juan Jose, please. Oh, Mauricio. Thank you, Mr. Yalovi. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Warranty, a promise to repair or replace something within a period of time. 
Exactly. Very good, Mister. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, so warranty. It's like, for example, when we go to I don't know Curacao, Omnisport, what else? Sunburns. I don't know. And when you are going to buy like a TV, like uh, what else? Anything like air conditioner, bed. You want to have a warranty of at least three years, two years, one year, right? Because if they get ruined, you get paid, right? Or you get the object one more time. So it's very important to sometimes have a warranty of the object. Do we have any questions so far? Questions, questions? Can you mention to me which ones are the features very important in an object, please? Can you mention to me? Which ones are that I just mentioned in the previous presentations? <gasps> Do you don't remember? And we were practicing. Which ones size. are ah, okay? Size, what else? Wait. Uh huh. What else? Price. Uh huh. Dimension. Dimension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Battery life. Uh huh. Stars. Uh huh. Function. Function. Yes. Warranty. And warranty. Very good. Those are all very, very important. Okay. Now, um, let's see. So remember that all of these features that we just mentioned are very, very important when we buy a, a thing, an object, or something that we need in, a, in the house. Now, in the manual, please, everybody go to page number nine. In there, it says here we have a little bit of practice. We are going to do it right now. And it says, ask some partners about all the products that they were please purchase. Um, so what are some things, I have that question for you. What are some things that your workplace buys every once in a while? And you share with us, what are some things that in your work, in your job, buy like for example medicine tvs for example in my job a uh, my 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 coordinator always buys markers for me okay markers she always buys for me stickers because i am a teacher right but for you what are some things that in your job Buy fabric, fabric like what? Telas, Ro Rolf, T. T. okay, Tela. okay, fabrics. Okay, good. What about the other ones? What are some things that they buy? Because I, I guess here everybody works in a different place, I guess, so yeah. it will be different things, right? So, que cosas compran like in su lugar de trabajo. El mister dijo fabrics en el lugar de él porque él trabaja en una, like, maquila, it will be mister. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Ajá. Mm -hmm. So, es telas. Ok. Tela, label. Ah, oh, labels, exactly, para marcar. Very good. Pero en paper, the other, paper. Paper and ink for printers. Exactly. What else, everybody? Y los demás, ¿qué compran en su puerto? Imagino que ustedes ven ahí que va llegando el material que ustedes ocupan ¿verdad? para trabajar, porque todos ocupamos algo para trabajar. So, what are you, what, do, what is, what are some of those things? Guitar. Guitar. Guitars. Guitar. 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 Ah, scissors. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. And the other ones? Yes, Miss. Pencil, oh, definitely right. We need pencils. Paper, for... teacher, paper and ink for the printer. Ah, very good. Computer. Comp wow, mister, nice. What about the other ones? Miss Lady, ahí le vi que quería hablar. Dígame, Miss. Um, or case, uh, by coffee. Coffee, definitely coffee. I think every place they buy coffee. Me too, in my work. Yes, they always buy coffee. Amazing, thank you. And sweet bread, Miss. 
en nuestro caso, porque nosotros somos, bueno, en mi caso, trabajo en una cooperativa cafetalera, así que el café es la materia prima. Oh, yes, oh, yes, they have to have, basically, it's important, the coffee. Very good. Thank you, me, for sharing. Nice, nice. What about the other ones? How do you say pintura? Ink or pintura para carro. Ah, mm, it would be paint then paint. Give me one second so I can write some of the things uh, because we are going to need it later. Oh, no, aquí tenía ya. Give me one sec. Because I didn't write that that you were mentioning so far. So you say pain, coffee, uh, ink, paper, uh, fabric, labels. What else, everybody? Scissors. Ah, uh, scissors. I have been able. Very good, Mister. Thank you. Computer. Computers, thank you. Uh -huh. Pen, pencil. Oh, uh -huh. very good, definitely, right? Pen, they are very important, pencils. In, you, in your job, do you have water to drink or no? That's something yes. else. Uh-huh, water. water. Uh huh. Anything else? Bread. I'm sorry. Pan. Bread. Ah, pastry or sweet pastry. bread. Uh -huh. Pastry. <coughs> sweet bread. Excellent. Thank you, Mister, for sharing. Thank you, Kiki. Scissors. Oh, just like that. Anything else? What about the other ones? I haven't heard talking. Mr. Jorge, something I would like to add. Francisco, Esmeralda, and Andrea. In my office is uh, by the helmet, uh, sunglasses for, uh, for mm -hmm. the appear, and uh, safety shoes. Ah, uh, safety shoes. Ah, oh, very good. Amazing, Mr. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Uh -huh. What about Andrea, Amalia, Michelle? Tell me. Um, I think um, a book. Ah, a book. Uh -huh. Glue. 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 Uh -huh. Eraser. Ah, erasers. Yes, definitely right. Very good. Remember that we are talking about your jobs, right? What do you buy? Yeah, so Miss Sandra, yes? Uh, Scotch tape. Ah, tape. Big, uh, I mean, sería tiro, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, tape. Toner. Sandpaper. ¿Qué es sandpaper, Miss? Primera vez que... Toner. Toner or ink, sería lo mismo que ink. Uh, ¿qué toilet son? paper. To definitely right. We need toilet paper in work because yes, oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> toilet paper. Robin, ¿qué es Robin? But Robin sería, um, ¿qué es eso, Miss? Can you confirm me, Abigail? ¿Qué me quiere decir, please? Porque I don't understand, Miss. Es que Robin es una como tipo pasta que se le echa a los carros cuando los pintan. Oh. Se ocupa para el enderezar y pintura. Oh, Robin. ¿And sandpaper? ¿Qué es eso? Pap ah, papel de para que no manche. Lijas. Lijas. Ah, qué wey. Let me see. With lija, I think that's a, that's a different word. I mean, lija. Let's put some paper because I don't remember. <clears throat> Another one. Backpack. Uh, definitely. Everybody needs a backpack, right? Desk. Back swap. 
this and see sí, Miss Lady, le escuché. Thank you, very Chair. Good. Chair, yeah, very good. Excellent. <laughs> okay, very good sharing your all of the things that you use and you buy in your workplace. That's amazing. Let's go with the next one. Give me one second. So now and here it says the next question. What are the features of it or then? Do you notice to the price, dimension, the warranty, or you are okay with that? Do they check that or no? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> or they don't check. The people that buy don't check the things. What do you know about that? No? What are the features? For example, what are the features for the, for example, coffee, let's say. What features would you look in the coffee? Dark. Dark, okay. Hot. Okay. It's a small seed. Oh, very good. That's a good one. These are that, that will be the features for the coffee, right? That you look, that you look in them, like the description. Um, and what about, for example, the the paper? What it will be like the in the paper? What features do you take into account? in the paper, or you don't look at the paper like that. It's white. Ah, white? Yeah, blanco. Ah, white, yeah, but some people, for example, I know that some people notice at the brand and, and also the price. Some people, not everybody, right, so. Some people look at the brand, la marca. Size. Uh-huh, the size and also the price. Some people, not all of it, right? But the majority, yeah. Base. The what? Base tuning, the paper. The base? Oh, okay. That's another type of, of paper, right? Uh-huh, very good. Thank you. Okay, so these are some features, right? And thank you for sharing with me and thank you for doing the activity. Now, let's go and move on and continue with this one. And in here, as you can see, we have uh, this activity number two. It says match the different features on a product with its definition compared with a partner, but we are going to do it here. So let's go with the first one, okay? Number one is size. Letter D. Okay, let me let me write it for you. Letter D. Okay, size. Okay, letter D. So it will be, you say? Yeah. Number one, it's letter D. D. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, weight. Direct F. Yes, very good. Number three, price. G. Direct G. Okay. Four dimensions. Direct A. A. Yeah. Number five. Let us see. Literally. Uh, look at the definitions. It says butter or lye. C. C. Yes, it's letter C because it says battery performance. And then we have number six. What would be the answer? E. 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 Seven. H. H. 
And number A? B. 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 Exactly. Okay, copy, copy. I don't know if you're going to copy this down or are we good so far? Okay, now I have a question for you. Can I move on? Well, I have two questions for you here. Okay, so what are we going to do right now? Um, so I'm gonna put you in pairs, okay, because well, before we do that, we are going to do a tenant section. But in the next few minutes, we are going to work in pairs and we are going to do these three questions, okay? How are we going to do it? I'm going to um, give you five minutes so you can answer these questions. Wait a second. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, so we have these three questions. Um, that we are going to do. And you have to write it down, okay? The answers that you have from your partners. You're going to take a turn, so everybody is going to answer these questions, okay? But before we continue and, and do that activity, let's do a tenant section. Please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Presente. Andrea Amalia. Carlos Francisco. Present teacher. Andrea Amalia, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Diana, Liz, Diana Lisbeth. Present teacher. Ticia Yamilet. Wait a second. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Jose Ezequiel Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. <coughs> eh, Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia, uy, give me one second. Present Gracias, Kenia. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth, Rebeca Guadalupe, present, Sandra Abigail, present, Sandra Patricia, present teacher, Stephanie Michelle, present teacher, very good, thank you very much, okay, now, as I told you before, we are going to work in this activity in which you are going to write the answers that your classmates give you, okay? And so I'm going to put you in pairs. Lo voy a poner en parejas, okay? Deben de contestar a esas dos preguntas. Okay, let me, I'm going to send you a picture on WhatsApp and uh, so you can have them, okay? Just give me one second. Aunque lo que tienen en la manual impreso, pues that would be nice because you already have it, okay? Eh, si no lo tienen, este, en un rato eh, después de la clase les voy a enviar el manual para que si ustedes desean para mañana ya lo tengan impreso, ok, porque así pueden ir escribiendo o anotando cualquier cosa, ok, so right now I'm gonna put you in uh, pairs and remember to answer those questions that I just sent you, give me one second, ok, so it would be some groups are pairs and some of, um, are trios, okay? So remember to write the answers, okay? So let's work. I'm gonna give you five minutes, the past cinco minutos, so you can work on this, okay? Let's work. Accept the invitation, everybody. Acepten ahí la invitación. Thank you.
Uh, Amalia, Andrea Amalia. is um uh, is similar with you because i work to fabric to, fabric yeah uh, for example in my workplace um, hello safety equipment yes safety equipment like helmet boot um and in your case how many products does your work work in my case how many um, i don't know <laughs> uh, which one uh paper Teacher, solo yo estoy aquí, usted. No, you are with Andrea Mali. Ok, déjame, te voy a mover, ok? No te preocupes. Sí, porque ya rato estoy hablando y nada. I'm sorry, mister. I didn't know. A, ahí ya aparece el botoncito de pedir ayuda, mister. Next time. Ahí está. Mm, se moví. Andrea, ¿está por ahí? Yes. Okay. Okay. In my case. Uh... Hello, Diana. Hola. Okay, Jose. Yes. I'm okay. Ahora que ahora sí, Minister. Okay, let's yes. uh, let's work then. Yes. Dania, verdad. Dania, sí. I am okay. sorry, Miss. Le dije Diana que no. No, no hay problema. Estoy okay. acostumbrada. Ok, but Dania, Dania, Dania. Dania, Dania. Ok. Dania, sí. Ok. Les está. Ok. Uh -huh. Así se llama, bobina. No son rollos de papel, sino que bobina. Bobinas. Ok. Bobinas de papel. Tendrá traducción eso. Hola, teacher. A, a tiempo. Yes, maybe, but I don't know. Okay. Well, it's my first time listening to bobina de papel. I just know bobinas, bobinas from the máquinas de coser. Ajá. Y si fuera rollo de papel, grande. It's roll, roll. Roll. Ajá, es roll. Roll paper. Ajá, uh -huh, roll of paper. Roll of paper. Ajá, uh -huh, pero en el caso sí, de Bobby, mejor. pero creo que es lo mismo, ¿verdad, Miss? Como así son las bobinas. Viene siendo lo mismo. Ajá, uh -huh, right? But it's a bigger one, right? Pero es un poquito más grande, I guess. Uh -huh. Exacto. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, rolls, rolls of paper. Ok. Basically, yeah. ¿Verdad que dijo que la dos y la tres íbamos a hacer? One, two, and three. Las tres. Yes, three questions. Ay, yo que lo siento, Juan José, le di okay. varios. Ok, ok, no, no, no problema. problema. No hay problema. Sí, porque uh -huh. ya llevamos como cuatro módulos. Sí. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, you teacher. Finish? Hello, you finish? All right, already okay. finished. Mm. It's very interesting because the Mr. La uh, lady, no? uh, lady, yes. The lady and me is a uh, same product by in the office because in, the, oh. in my office is a uh, world uh, 24 hours because attending the vessels at beer and drinking the bitter liquid is a uh, coffee. Oh, so it's very important to you yes. too. 
You two work in uh, something related to coffee? Uh, in my office, yes, in my office, ah, yes, in coffee. Okay. And she is a different, in different office, uh, because uh, she's tall, uh, with working the coffee. I don't know, I don't remember. Yes, she told us mm -hmm. that it was something related, yeah, with the company related to coffee. Yes, so, it's a coffee, uh -huh. right, yes. Coffee maker, <laughs> coffee maker, the place that she works. Oh, great, that's good. And Andrea, did Andrea answer or no? No, Andrea, no. <laughs> Andrea, are you there? But Andrea has to practice too. Tienes que practicar, Andrea. ¿Dónde estás? Hello. I don't know what happened to her. No. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna uh, take you out. So just give me one second, okay? Right this year, okay? Thank okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So let's wait. I don't know what happened to the other ones. We are going to wait a few seconds. So maybe they come, but they are very entertained answering the questions in the other breakout rooms. So I don't know what happened. They are, are not here yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I told you to answer three questions. Number one, number two, number three, uh, related to your workplace, right? Because it's that it's basically what we are going to talk about, workplace and uh, like the lugar de trabajo, right? And then, so there we have uh, some questions just, uh, they say, they say, I don't know. Okay, everybody is now here. Thank you. Okay, so now the questions. So we have number one. Can you help me to read and give me the answer for number one, please? Um, let's go with, oh, let me see the breakout rooms. So it would be breakout room number one, Esmeralda, Jorge, and Mauricio. Can you help me please, Mauricio, with the question and the answer, please? Uh, the question number one. Yes, please. Uh, um, How many products? Uh, fabric. Label. No, but, uh, okay. Uh huh. Fabric. Label. Thread. Thread. Uh, oh, like hilo, right? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, but wait, I don't remember how to write. My, today, I, I am bad with my my vocabulary. Okay, thread, and then? Um, hasta ahí but Mr., but the other ones were the same products as you? The other, the other classmates, were the uh, same products or different products? Same Jorge, Jorge and Esmeralda, lo mismo? Yeah, I, oh. I work to the In the, in the same? Too. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Oh my God. <laughs> that's a coincidence. Oh my goodness, that's great. Okay, so thank you for sharing. Very good. Let's go with team number two. Wait, 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 wait. Team number two would be... Rebecca, 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 ¿con quién trabajaste, Rebecca? I'm sorry. With Kenya. Oh. But okay. she, she has problems. She uh, has problems with the internet. Oh, okay. So what do you buy, Kenya? I mean, Rebecca. Rebecca and Kenya, what do you buy in your workplace? In the first, um, uh -huh. in cheese case, boxes, safety equipment, both mm -hmm. uh, in my case 
uh, paper, ink, pencil, pillow, pen. Mm -hmm. How many how many units do you buy of of each of the product that you are mentioning? In the case for Kenya, she said little. Little and for you? In my my case, uh I don't know, but okay. they they buy the boxes in when Cuando se acaba. <laughs> and when it is off, uh -huh, you feel it. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And how much money do they spend? Do you remember or do you know how much money that do they spend? And with Kenya, uh, mm -hmm. she doesn't respond. <laughs> oh, she In doesn't. My... Uh -huh, you? In my case, maybe the three hundred by three a uh, three months, maybe. Every three months, three hundred dollars every three months. Wow, every three months. Every. Aha, uh -huh, three months. Yes. Uh -huh, every three months. Very good, Miss. Thank you. Let's see next team. Team number three, number four. It will be Michelle and Abigail. What things do you buy? in your workplace uh, uh, in the quiero ver nuestro our work our workplace uh -huh. uh, in el case de Abigail uh -huh. safety equipment uh -huh. in, in my case uh, buy too much post-it post too much oh, really yes. Too how much. Ma how many? Like uh, like one thousand? One yes, I think. Really? Why? Yes. Why so many because, because I like right. No, it is a joke. Because uh, I need uh necesitamos hacer muchas notas. Oh, so you need to make a lot of notes, so that's why. Yes. Like Mimi's, I love it. I love plastics every time I use them. Yeah, to make notes. It's very important, right? Very good, Miss. Thank you for sharing. Very good, Miss Michelle. Let's go with Diana and Jose Ezequiel. Miss Diana, I want to hear you. What things? Dania, teacher. Dania. Mm -hmm. I don't know where did I say Diana. Dania, tell me, Dania. The, buy the paper. Okay. Pencil, pen, mm -hmm. and calculator. Uh -huh. I use much the <laughs> post-it too. Mm -hmm. But how many units do they buy throughout the month, for example? It's uh, I wait for the product to end. Uh -huh. oh. And but like every one, every month, every year, every day. It depends with como lo use. Ah, uh, it depends of the use. Yes. Ah, uh, definitely means very good. Okay. Thank you everybody for sharing your ideas. I know there's two teams that haven't participated, but before we almost finish, because it's almost time, we are going to start with this topic that is countable and uncountable now. Do you know the, when do we use countable nouns? Volunteer to tell me, when do we use it? Countable nouns or uncountable nouns? A uh, contact now is possible in the book that you uh, thank you. I mean, uncountable, okay. I, I didn't listen. I didn't listen to. Uh huh. In a contact, uh huh. Or a contact example, please, being. Okay, 
So basically, yeah, thank you for your ideas, Miss. I couldn't listen very well, I'm sorry. So countable nouns here, we have the definition. Can you help me to read, please, the definition, Miss Rebecca? Countable noun. Countable nouns refer to things that can be content. They have singular and plural forms. Exactly, countable. You can count it with your hands, right? For example, one apple, for apples and as you can see singular one and plural more than one right okay it that will be for plural and here we have some examples y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos let's uh what countable nouns can you think of can you mention some countable things that you can count right now from your job for example countable for example um, desk what else Chairs. Uh huh. What else? Computer. Very good. What else? Countable. Countable things in your place, workplace. Fun. Ah. Uh? Fun or ah fun. Air conditioner. Uh, yes. uh huh. Or air conditioner. Very good. Door. Doors. Very good. <laughs> Chair. <laughs> Chair. Very good. Desk. Aha, uh -huh. amazing. Windows. Definitely. Patro. <laughs> well, I'm sorry? Patro. Ah, <laughs> the bathrooms is true. You can count them right there. Yeah, Very good. It's a toilet, no? <laughs> it's, it will be a toilet. Yeah, definitely. Or bathrooms, like maybe they have many bathrooms and that could be countable. Mm -hmm. So countable now we have some books, we have dogs. Bananas, students, pencils. And then we have uncountable nouns. Can you help me to read uncountable nouns, please? Miss, wait, wait a second. Miss mm. Lady. Uncountable nouns refer to things that can't be count. Exactly, we cannot count. Like paint, I'm gonna give you some examples and then I'm going to ask you bread. We cannot count bread. A menos que estemos migajita por migajita, pero no podemos contar bread. Or maybe the container, o tal vez el contenedor, que más adelante lo vamos a estudiar. Later on, we are going to study these containers, some the things. Uh, then we have water, rice, money. Can you can you tell me some uncountable things, things that we cannot count? Uncountable? Maybe Rice. sugar. Oh, very good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Salt. Uh-huh. What else? Maybe milk. Ah, very good. Thank you. <coughs> Anything else? Coffee? Yes, very good. Sand. Yes, very good. But at your workplace, things that you cannot count at your workplace. Think about it. Think, think. Grass. Grass, very good. Uh -huh. Ink. Yeah, definitely very good, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, mister. Sugar. Sugar, yes. And also paper. We cannot count paper at, unless it is retma, right? We have the like bunch of paper. We can say there's a bunch of paper, but then uh, paper, it's like general. Very good so far. Very uh, Thank you very much for everybody's giving ideas to the, um, to the class. Now let's stop right there. And then we have Miss Abigail Mejia. It's Abigail Mejia here still. Quiero ver, ya se salió Miss Abigail. What about Andrea Amalia? Miss Andrea, today you have the session. Are you going to stay, Miss Andrea? A Miss Andrea le toca quedarse ahora, pero I don't know. She's going to stay. No sé si se va a quedar porque no me ha contestado. I don't know. Hello, Miss. Okay, what about 
Carlos Francisco, no, no vino tampoco. Okay, so maybe Miss Andrea, Andrea Amalia, she's going to stay maybe because she didn't say anything, so maybe. So for the rest of the class, you can go. I'll see you tomorrow. It was a super short class, as you can see. Very fun. I hope you continue participating in all of the classes, okay? So thank you for being here. Gracias por venir. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Have a great good day night. tomorrow. Thank Bye. you. Good night. Right, no good night, everybody. Good, good night, night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Take care. Bye, everybody. Teacher, you will send by, uh, I don't know, for the WhatsApp, for the, uh, because I, I don't know around the... The, the manual. The, uh, manual. Oh, sure, mister. Right now I'm gonna send it. I forgot. Thank you that you remembered to me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you too. <laughs> no, no problem, mister. Uh, so you can you can print it. Uh, so you have it ready for tomorrow. I, I, I imprinted my in my board in, the, in my job. Ah, in my job. I that would be a... my job. Yes. <laughs> I That's good. Job. I already sent it right now, <clears throat> so you can right, print it. You. No thank problem. You. Bye, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Oh, no. No? I see. No, I sent you the teacher's version. Don't, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> delay, delay. <laughs> delay, delay, because... This is no problem, teacher. No, me van a regañar. <laughs> delay, teacher, delay, no. no, no I already delayed. I'm right, going to send in a little bit, mister. Just give me one second so I can send you here on, on the WhatsApp because <laughs> I don't know where I have it. Okay. So, don't worry I'm gonna, about that. Okay. okay. Bye, mister. Take bye care. Bye. See Take you. care. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, mister. <laughs>